Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Saturday, September 21st, and I am in my room, and I just got done, or like, going through all these bins the past couple months I've been trying to declutter my house like each like weekend by weekend um and so yeah I filmed a pregnancy update for you guys last Saturday but I did not like the footage at all so I'm really really sorry that I didn't upload anything and then in the whole process of that I ended up catching a cold and so now we're here and I am 20 weeks, um, but I just wanted to show you guys, like, a quick tour of, like, the upstairs and the nursery and what I've done to our room and our closet and all that stuff. And then I also wanted to update you guys on, like, our gender reveal and, like, when we're gonna find out what we're having. So... I am going to flip this around so right now I am upstairs and if you can hear an echo this is the empty room last time I had you guys in here um, it was packed and a bunch of stuff my husband is doing something with this I have no idea what said something about when we give the baby a bath that it might like flood or overflow but yeah I used to this used to be my like get ready room um, and now it's just a scale and some cleaning stuff and a closet that has this bin and then this little box has baby stuff in it and then these are like blankets and shoes and then this is all this Obviously, this will all go when the baby is born, but, um, yeah, so this room is obviously not going to stay green, and if you guys can tell, the trim in all of this is a mess, so we're going to have my dad come and redo this and repaint the walls and the walls are definitely going to be a neutral color I think we're gonna maybe have it this color you guys can't really see it but um, it's down it's the color that's downstairs it's wheat bread by bear and that's most likely what the baby's room color is gonna be whether it's a girl or a boy so that's easy and then definitely getting a new chandelier because that thing is ugly as hell and I can't stand it so yeah and then for the big change that's his side that's my side a lot of his stuff are in those two drawers and then this is the black um, shelf storage unit that used to be in the spare room and then this is just my little get ready area it's kind of a mess right now but um, I'm just gonna have to make do with what I have and then this stuff I'm still trying to find a place for it this is all my husband's like lotion and shave stuff so yeah that's a waste of six minutes so done with that okay so I have everything written down on a notebook so I don't get off track because I have been off track but last week I had filmed a update video for you guys but it looked terrible I was just rambling and everything nothing made sense so I decided today I'm gonna get myself together put some makeup on have my hair done and just look somewhat you know put together but um, so my last update was my 8 to 11 week update. I was still in my first trimester and still feeling kind of icky and no motivation, but I want to say that 
Um, today I am 20 weeks and one day pregnant and I have the big appointment on Monday and I am so excited. I don't even care that we won't know the gender until Saturday, but I just want to see the baby. I haven't seen the baby since I was six weeks and six days pregnant. And to me that is just insane because I have no idea what's going on in there and I, you know, hope everything is okay. But I just want to know what the baby's doing and how the baby's doing and if the baby is healthy and I just want a picture of a baby, not a little like dot. I have one picture of my baby and it's little. So, yeah, end of rant there. So, let's start with 12 weeks. Um, I didn't start feeling better until I was 14 weeks, but at 12 weeks is when I started noticing my breasts were starting to get super enlarged. Um, and I think that's like where all my like weight gain started, but I noticed then... I was starting to pack on pounds and I thought that your second trimester ended at 12 weeks but I found out it was like 13 weeks and I didn't start feeling better until about 14 weeks but yeah 12 weeks I had I wrote here enlarged breasts acne and hormones so my breasts were super enlarged started to get enlarged everyone was like making comments on my boobs like holy crap where'd they come from I, let's just say, started with a 34B for my boobs, but I wore a 34C for comfort just because I always, I, I hate cleavage, so I never showed my cleavage. So I always went like a cup size higher. Like I, Now I am wearing a 36D, and every single day I feel like they get bigger, and they're only going to get bigger. Um, I noticed acne, I think it's at its worst right now actually, but um, 12 weeks I started breaking out and my skin started to be super dry, which I'm very oily. Um, and yeah, so I started to get super bad acne around 12 weeks and my hormones, I was still like not out of my first trimester obviously. And I was over it. I was ready to be in my second trimester. And I honestly felt like I was never going to feel better. And that I was going to be sad and lazy my whole entire pregnancy. And I cried a lot. I All I could eat was carbs. I had bagels for breakfast every morning. Yeah, so 12 weeks is when I was just super emotional, super... Just everything hurt. My boobs were big. I cried a lot. I was very lazy. My house was a mess. It was just not a fun time for me. I'm glad it's over. <laughs> and then 14 weeks on here it says, I started feeling normal. Still had enlarged breasts, acne, and hormones. Leaving for vacation around that week. And I just packed a bunch of stuff. And of course... I ended up not being able to wear or fit in half of the stuff that I brought on my vacation. I had all these bathing suits. My mom had to buy me two bathing suits. Those were the two bathing suits that I wore the whole entire time. They were super comfortable. And I had all this acne on my chest. I have no idea what happened, but my acne was just out of control. At 17 weeks, I had a baby appointment and actually no that wasn't it at 17 weeks here it says that I felt the baby move for the first time I remember it I was laying in bed and it was the morning and I felt this like I can't explain what I felt it felt like a, a turning almost in my stomach like like what I'm feeling right now in my full bladder and it didn't feel like flutters maybe I don't know how to explain the way a baby moving feels and so I felt it a couple of times and that was it and then not until my 
18 week appointment I had just a belly check and a, a you know heartbeat appointment and I had the nicest doctor in the whole entire world and I was really emotional at that appointment I'm not sure why I was so emotional I think just because in general um, like I haven't been feeling my best I've my breasts are enlarged I have acne and I just don't feel comfortable in my own skin being pregnant right now I feel like I'm just at that awkward stage still um, and you're a pregnant woman like they see pregnant women all the time even though it's unique and different for you your doctors see pregnant your OBGYN sees pregnant women every single day so to them it's just like oh, okay hi belly check blah 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 all right see you next appointment like to them it's not like you just don't feel special you know but this doctor specifically was just amazing and she was just like referring to the baby as little babe she called it little bun um, let's listen to the little bun and I don't really have like a nickname for the baby yet just because I feel still very insecure and um, she was really really nice and I had never been with her that was like my fourth appointment since being pregnant I want to say or third but I have to go through each doctor in my practice because any of them can deliver the baby when I go into labor so I really hope that I have her because after that I left the appointment and I was just so excited because my next appointment is going to be my 20 week appointment so I left there feeling really really good about the baby she told me how active the baby is and the heartbeat and how the heartbeat fluctuates perfectly and I didn't get any special tests done for the baby I didn't do the Down syndrome test I didn't do any any other tests I just did routine blood work and she told me that everything with the baby seemed fine so Monday is the big day we find out if we're having a boy or a girl um, it's my stepdad's birthday as well so we're having like a joint birthday party gender reveal party since family and friends will already be there um, I just wanted to show you guys quick um, what we're doing and like what I got actually I only got like one thing but um, I bought powder and confetti cannons from poof there it is and I ended up buying I ordered them like last week because I wasn't sure when they would come in but I ordered uh, two pink and two blue and they're humongous um, and at the bottom it has like the color pink and then there's a blue one so I ordered two pink two blue um, come to find out my stepdad went on Amazon and ordered confetti cannons too which like surprised me because I was not expecting him to do that so now we'll have extras um, and then I'm trying to think of what else I'm doing for the gender reveal I went on Pinterest I have like a whole gender reveal board I don't want to make it like this big thing because it's really not that serious like it's serious but it's not you know like my baby shower should be more important but I was also thinking of making some like little desserts I was just gonna have like a little dessert table with um, like blue and pink desserts um, and then I think I'm gonna go on Amazon and order just some um, necklaces pink or blue necklaces of whatever people think that the baby's gonna be and then I'll go to like Party City and get um, the Party City might even have them um, I'm gonna go to Party City and get the balloons that say like boy or girl and then we're also gonna make like drinks so pink and blue drinks um, but yeah I'm really excited I just I just want to know what we're having because the nursery is empty I've done so much stuff to prep for the nursery so I can start like going shopping and getting the things that I need um, I have a registry set up on baby list and that thing is freaking amazing you can add anything you want from any store onto your registry so that is super super cool 
So I've just really added like gender neutral stuff and I'm definitely, I think my husband and I are going to film an old wives tale video during the week um, before we find out what we're having. My mom is going to know what the baby is. We will not know. So if you guys want to know what we are having, um, I highly suggest you follow me on Instagram. I will have my Instagram down below and I will also have it on my end card uh, because it will be posted there and I'm sure my Facebook people will be tagging us and everything so um, yeah I'm not gonna like hide it from you guys but the video will still be fun for you guys to watch uh, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys have any questions please feel free to comment down below and ask me some questions I'm sure I left out some stuff I need to show you guys my bump this is my belly these are not maternity. These are the only other leggings that I own that fit me right now. These are my Lululemon. But this is what my belly is looking like. I want to pull this up a little bit. So my belly is feeling big. It's kind of suffocated right here, but yeah. And this like is bothering me so much, but what can you do, you know? Can't really do anything about it. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.